We're chatting with Dave Baxter from Avalanche City. Hello, Dave. Hi. How are you? Yeah, good. What have you done this morning? Uh, I had breakfast. I had a bagel and uh, some tea. What kind of bagel? Um, it had avocado and an egg oh, wow. and like some rocket and like, yeah, it was really nice. It's a fancy bagel. I've never yeah. heard of a bagel. On Fovo Street. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Shout out to people in Sydney, go hunt down this bagel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really nice. <laughs> so, um, for those who don't know, Dave's a Kiwi, um, and Dave's past new albums, past two albums, have picked up number one singles in New, in new Zealand, which is pretty awesome, actually. Um, how is We Are For The Wild Places coming along there? Um, it's good. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's it's always funny, like, releasing an album, like, because <laughs> people ask you how it's going, and yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, it's going good. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going good. <laughs> yeah, happy with it. Yeah, people I are... yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, people are uh, stoked, and I've had, like, really good feedback. Amazing. Yeah. So, um, have you been playing many shows back home? Uh, I played uh, one release show, and then I've got a little tour that's starting um, next week. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, now you work with Chris Waller from Death Cab for Cutie on it. How was that? Really cool. Yeah, he's been like a, a big influence on my production um, since for ages. So yep. um, it was quite like it was quite weird to like. I remember knocking on the studio door and then like Chris Waller answered it and yep. it's just like oh hello. He's, yeah. <laughs> 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 but he's really nice, like really down to earth. That's nice awesome. And we just hung out for two weeks and mixed the album together. That sounds so cool. Did you yeah. get any Death Cab for Cutie like influences come through by um, him? Uh, I think he's he's always pushing like his own production and stuff. So yeah, like, and I'm like a Death Cab Death Cab for Cutie is a big influence on me. So, yeah. Yeah, no doubt you can probably hear it in there. Yeah, awesome. Um, and you're in town for a sold out tour with Conrad Seal. Um, what can fans expect of these shows? Any surprises? What are you, what are you going to be doing? Uh, well, I'm playing as a trio, um, so I've got me and, and two guys with me, um, two mates, and um, uh, we've got like keys, and uh, I use like a stomp box and cool. a tambourine. So it's it's a trio, but it's it's really full sound, um, and yeah, lots of fun. Um, the the last three shows have been really cool in Sydney. Gotta love a tambourine. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, now a few quick questions. Are you a dog or a cat person? Ah, uh, dog person. Yeah, the reason I'm asking is because I saw a photo of you posting a husky. Oh uh, yeah. I have a Malamute, so oh, I love do them you? too. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. We're um, awesome. snow dog buddies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the most underrated instrument in your opinion? Ooh, that's a really tough question. I've like, I've recently put hammered dulcimer on the album and um, in the last album and that's that's on like half the album and it's just amazing like this this extra like textural thing that you can put mm. in a song so that was like a big discovery for me awesome yeah, I'd say that will you be using it kind of more in the future now or yeah yeah for sure and we use it live a little bit as well cool and what's the first gig you went to see um Oh, that's that's something that someone recently asked me, and um, it was when I was a teenager, and I went and saw Linkin Park. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it was actually really good. You're really doing those new metal things now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was my first like trip away as well, like like by myself, well with with friends. So, yeah. Like I think I was 16, 15 or sixteen, and and me and like two mates of mine went up, drove up to Auckland. Yeah. From Hamilton, and we watched Linkin Park and stayed in the backpackers. It was like my first little taste of freedom. That sounds <laughs> yeah. super fun though. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, yeah. Linkin Park played Soundwave recently-ish. Oh, uh, yeah. A couple years ago, That's and right. it was kind of cool. It's yeah. good to watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what's the most embarrassing thing you own? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> that's a really, like... It can a... go embarrassing to odd, like if it's just a bit of a weirdo. Um, the most embarrassing thing I own. Shrana, what's the most embarrassing thing I own? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Probably some old CDs, like probably like I don't know, like a like some pop CD, maybe like a Michelle Branch CD or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Do you um, collect anything? Uh, no, I don't really collect stuff. Sorry, I'm not really good at this no, kind it's of cool. question. Well, that's cool. Oh, look at the cute doggies. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, well, thank you for stopping by so much, Dave. Have an awesome rest of your tour. Oh, you're welcome. Um, and yeah, good luck with the rest of it. Awesome. Thanks. Cheers.